Earlier, uh, we talked about live variable analysis and aliasing. Let's now look at aliasing in more detail. So what is an alias? It's a, a variable, uh, usually a global variable or a static variable being referenced and accessed via a pointer. Now here is an example code which basically is a character buffer uh, pointing to a string uh, hello. Um, basically this function is using the global variable to clear that. Uh, basically it sets all the uh, buffer uh, values to be zero. Now here is an alternative version which basically is not doing that. It's actually calling it's it's being called with a parameter which is a character pointer and it uses that pointer to initialize so here the buff refers to this parameter which is a character pointer and the calling function would pass the global variable as the actual argument so passing buffer as an argument removes aliasing because aliasing with so with uh, basically will introduce certain difficulties for the optimizer so global in general global variables are usually considered you now it's a bad practice to use global variables as much as possible use local variables global can can potentially be modified from anywhere in your program so it may have unexpected results they are scattered all over the code and so on so this can result in complex dependencies making it hard to understand the program and identify which part of the program might be affected if the value of the global is changed some elsewhere from the optimizer's point of view it's even worse a store through a pointer can potentially change the value of any global variable and therefore it is called aliasing um, so it is aliasing and a variable can be accessed in more than the, its name it's uh, more than one way even though the programmer might know what the that the writing to the buffer which uh, this buff is pointing to will never change the variable itself the compiler has to assume the worst and reload the buffer from memory on every iteration of the loop passing the address of the buffer as an argument this is the second version basically uh, instead of using the global variable, we'll remove the alias. So compiler can have difficulty with this kind of code. To avoid that, you know, it is better to be explicit. Directly, uh, it has side effect here, and then <coughs> it may have uh, difficulty understanding how it can be optimizing the load and store. Now, passing the address of the buffer as an argument instead of the global, is better method. So after the small chain, the bu pointer buffer cannot be affected by the stores to the pointer. Basically, the pointer buffer is invariant in the loop. So basically, this becomes an invariant in the loop uh, because it's a it's a, it's pointed. In, in fact, it can be even a constant character star. Now, global variables can be useful when passing information between sections of the code that don't share a caller collie relation. Otherwise, don't use the global variable. Use a call uh, with a pointer as an argument. So here is an example where there are two ways in which the function for clearing a buffer is called. So here is main one, main which calls clear buffer one and clear, followed by clear buffer two. Clear buffer one is directly accessing the global variable, and clear buffer two is is uh, getting an argument which is basically a pointer to the same buffer. So it's it's basically called by main with the pointer to the uh, global variable, and it is using this pointer as a reference for initializing it just for uh, distinguishing between this and this the different value is being assigned now let's see what the diff generated code looks like so here is basically this is main it initially calls clear buffer one 
and then subsequently it will call clear buffer 2. So here if we see clear buffer 1, here it is basically doing what you expect by loading the variable in a loop uh, and storing the values, uh, basically 0 here um, and then incrementing for the loop, comparing for loop termination and branching until the loop termination is satisfied. Finally, returning from this function. Now, this is not surprising. However, what is interesting is to see the alternate version, which is basically you see there is no load and store here. Uh, basically, this value constant 5a hexa is nothing but 90, and uh, this is basically the uh, loop uh, index R1, and it calls a internal function which is basically memory memset function. So we can step into that. We can actually run up to this point. Now uh, <clears throat> we can step into this. It is now in this internal function, which is basically doing all the, as you can see, it is highly optimized in terms of the load and stores uh, because it is using the, the function pointer here. Finally, the effect is same. But then <coughs> the, the load and store uh, accessing through the global variable uh, through the pointer is much more efficient for the from optimization point of view.